All right, what we're going to do here is splice these two pieces of uh, Kevlar together. So this would represent a situation where the line has broken either due to a tear or to a shot uh, from a bullet that goes down range and hits the Kevlar and parts it. So we're going to splice this together. What we're going to do first is what they call a locking hitch. So we're going to weave these together. We're going to use this device here. Uh, we use this for splicing this. This is a 12 strand line. It has a hollow core in it. So we're able to manipulate this wire down through the core. So the first thing we're going to do is find a point where they're going to cross. So we're just going to go ahead and manipulate this wire through the line like this. Okay, we want to make sure that we go right through the middle. Don't catch just one or two strands. Then we're going to take the very end of it of the other line. We're going to put it up through the splicer just to catch it and we're just simply going to pull it through. Okay. Now we've pulled it through. Now the key here is, is now we have to take this one and pass it through the one that we just passed through the second one. So this is side B and this is side A. We just put A through B. Now we got to put B through A. So we're going to go ahead and again pick that spot out and we're going to push the splicer through the line. Again going through the middle. We're going to take the line and put it into our splicer. Again we just need the bitter end, just enough to catch it and we're going to pull it through. Now the key that this is a locking hitch, as you can see, is I can go ahead and pull these and they're not going to pull apart. Okay, So now we're going to go ahead and then lock these two. And this is something similar to what people used to call uh, the Chinese hair splice. What we're going to do is take this part and we're going to bury it down through the center of the core. So we measure out how long this is. Usually for this size line, a good three to four inches is going to be enough. We're going to take the splicer and we're going to work it into the center of the line. Now, as you can see, I've been successful and I'm just simply pushing the splicer up through the core of the line. I'm going to come out just before where I want to put the line down through. So now you see that I've come out. I'm going to go ahead and now take that line. I'm going to put the end through here. Once I've caught it, I'm going to go ahead and just manipulate it down through. And you got to twist a little bit and just pull. As you can see, it's going right down through the center. And it's going to come out here. And I'm going to go ahead and pull on it. Okay. Now I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. I'm going to go down through. You can push it together a little bit just to open it up. Get the splicer going down through. I'm going to come out right next to where I want this line to go in. caught it, so now I'm going to feed it through, as you can see. Now if you accidentally pull it out, just pull it back out again and redo it. No harm, no foul. So now I've gone ahead and pulled these through. Now I've got some sticking up, I want to get rid of that, so I'm going to go ahead and pull that extra down. I'm going to cut it off. And if you want to, you can even taper this a little bit by pulling out some of the fibers. You can cut some of them off like that, just to give it a little taper. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just milk that. See how I milk it down in there? So that disappears down inside the line. And now I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side. I'm gonna pull it out. I'm gonna cut off the end a little bit.
I can taper it just a little bit, just so there isn't a hard change. And then again, I'm just gonna take it and just milk it down in through there. So there we go. We have spliced the line back together. We've increased the diameter just slightly, but not really enough for most of the pulleys that this is op gonna operate through on a pistol range to move the target up and down through the range. That should pass nicely right through the range. And we've maintained our integrity and our strength. As you can see, I can go ahead and just crank on that. And it's just as strong as it was in the beginning. So again, that's a short splice with our splicing tool.